And if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace up against Fulham. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schlup starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you, Sellers Park. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Jimenez. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Bad pass. Klein. The ball with Jordan, are you? Very quick thinking there. Ezzy. This is looking threatening. Oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. William. He has time to play it over. Not away completely. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Wilson, and a decent delivery. Well, they can bring it out now. Jeffrey Schlup. No space for them here. Is this the moment? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Harry Wilson are getting the ball forward. The 
Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. And the keeper dicing with danger. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Now sending it in. Textbook defending inside the box. Ezzy. Jeffrey Schrupp. Odson Edouard. Oh, great attacking play. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And he read it well defensively. Schloop. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. Harry Wilson. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Pereira. Now he must favour the cross. A very effective clearance. Wilson. Pereira. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Delivering it. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Making sure it didn't get past him. Pereira. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily. And he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So underway again. And Crystal Palace very much bossing the game up to now. Will there be a response in the second half? Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Kenny Tete. Now with Wilson. And a good tackle. Sheikh Ducouré. Moving into the advanced position, but really sticking to their task defensively. Wilson. Kenny Tete. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Pereira 
on to Jimenez Pereira able to get a body in the way could be well he was dreaming of scoring but ruled offside well it all happened very quickly so I wouldn't criticise him too much at least he was in there well it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best in terms of possession but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back I expect more of the same I think it's been a really good performance from them so far Ducouré Jean-Philippe Mateta and Edouard with it nicely timed tackle well we have 30 minutes to go Wilson Pereira determined defending This could pose problems for the defenders. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. So a personnel change then. Raul Jimenez Wilson on to Jimenez couldn't quite finish well if they can just get one it will certainly make it interesting Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. This is a message for Alex O'Neill. Alex O'Neill, can you please return to your vehicle? William. We're getting the ball forward. But the danger averted for now. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, Fulham have the ball back now. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Now, who can he play it to? And ball back. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And they're making a change. Well, lacking a bit of inspiration with that free kick attempt. Well, lacking inspiration and lacking a bit of quality as well. That's a really poor effort. They might be able to get in now. William. Throw in for Fulham. Well, they've decided to make a change. Jimenez. Now, well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Oh, that's a fine pass. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. <laughs> well, 
Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. How about the cross? Just needs to resolve the danger. Dicing with a bit of danger here. Well, a good place to win it, but flinging himself at it, the keeper. But he's gone short with it. Takes the shot. Superb block. And full time here. And the story is one of job done by Crystal Palace. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough. They dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.